Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is The the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hey, you cat. Hey, Bruce. <laughs> it was Halloween weekend. I know. And yeah. you went to Portland. And I went to Portland. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've got some friends up there. We met up and hung out for a little bit and went to, I mean, like the best restaurants that you could imagine. But beyond that, we also went to an immersive production of Stephen King's Misery, (laughs) because how could you not if that's playing on Halloween weekend in Portland? And it was so cool. So when I say like it's an immersive production, they turned this abandoned Masonic Lodge, they built Annie's house in the party area of the lodge, and everyone was sitting in Annie's house, and the play was (laughs) happening all around us. And it was really, really cool. I've never been to a production like that. It's a really cool concept. It requires a lot of attention to detail and a lot of work, but they did a great job with it. Yeah. And you were telling me that they do Mm -hmm. this on a regular basis. Yes, that's their whole thing. All the productions you are immersed in it. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Their whole thing is immersive theater. So it's called the Experience Theater Project. Um, I don't know if you're up in Portland, uh, you're a theater person and you've never been to a play like that before. Maybe see if they've got something going on because that was something else. That was really neat. Yeah. Yeah, Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. When you were describing it to me, I was going, hey, that's pretty incredible. Yeah. And then you, you had some more fun too you partied uh mm-hmm. halloween oh yeah i went Portland. to some some yeah. halloween parties and yeah. stuff how he's like costume parties and 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 all that good stuff and uh had oh, a right great on. time just like everyone down here was partying heard you had a pretty wild party yourself oh yeah we, <laughs> we did. now did you do which costume did you wear oh i was wearing my persephone costume okay, okay. goddess of spring with my pink wig so okay <laughs> right on okay <laughs> looking okay. like a little princess there you go <laughs> had some fun <laughs> Absolutely. That's yeah. groovy. That's mm-hmm. great, man. Got back safe and everything's good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Back to reality. Yeah. We threw a Halloween party for Junior. Uh, yeah. It was for the kids and we had a blast and everything. And like I was telling you, it's like, yeah, the parents had just as much fun as the kids had. I was just leave it at that. We all had a real good time. It was, yeah, it was the party was on. Hadn't hung out like that with some friends and done that in quite a while, you know, probably since last year. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, last season, yeah. So what did you dress up as for Halloween? Oh, uh, well, Larky, a, a pirate. I went oh, with the really? pirate thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beth dressed as a pirate too. So yeah, we did the pirate thing. So mm-hmm. we had some friends there uh, from from Best Work, uh, Tori and her husband, Gavin, they were there and they were a Corona and she was the lime. She no. had the lime outfit and he had the big Corona bottle. Mm-hmm. And well, guess what? We was drinking Coronas and limes. Mm-hmm. So there you go. That's how come we all had a good time. Yeah, it was fun. Now, the kids had great, like I was telling you, I was cut out some uh, a ghost-like figure and cut some holes in it. And uh, well, around there on Friday nights, that's Nerf Wars goes on. Sure. You know, because yeah. mm-hmm. we've collected quite a quite a few Nerf guns and everything like that. So mm-hmm. what I did is set up all the games to be a, a surrounded by a Nerf, which is first started out with a Nerf basketball to make the hoops first. Oh, yes. And then you got to shoot the ghost, uh, targets on the ghost, you know, and you mm-hmm. get a prize. I bought all these, went crazy on all these prizes at the Dollar Tree. And then Cute. I bought some really cool prizes, some Nerf guns and stuff. And so everybody was happy, you know, it was, the kids had a blast. They, uh, yeah, they had a good time and uh, parents had a good time and mm. yeah. We all had a really good time. Good. Well, we <laughs> so, hope everybody. <laughs> it was a good weekend. Yeah, Absolutely. it was a great weekend. Absolutely. Well, we had fun. We hope everybody else had fun out there and stayed safe. Of course, safety first. And uh, oh I yeah, guess it's back to the real world now. Yeah, because everything year. was happening. <laughs> yeah, everything was happening yeah. on Saturday because mm-hmm. you know the Halloween, and that's what I say. Hope everybody had a safe and happy Halloween because when this airs, it'll be Wednesday. It'll be all over now. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's all over. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we're going to get on with the show. We don't have a guest. Before we go, I'd like to thank Trike City Dispensary, the Oregon South Coast Fisherman, otherwise known as the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show, or one of the other fine shows there at KCIW, all you got to do is go to kciw.org. And you will be on your merry way. Hey, and now it's time for a music schedule, which we got November's. Whew, right, it's huge. What do you know? There's stuff happening in November. Yeah. <laughs> Starting with the Black Sage Runners. They're playing on the 10th at Oxen Free at 9 o'clock. And then on the 11th, they'll be at Mr. Ed's in Port Orford. That's starting at 7. Yep. And Misty Mountain Bruins got on the 4th. 
P.A. and T. Roy from 6 to 8, and on the 18th and the 24th, Mr. Longara will be there from 6 to 8. All right. And at Tortuga Mexican Bar and Grill up in Gold Beach on the 3rd and the 10th, it's P.A. and T. Roy playing from 6 to 8. On the 17th, it's Lon Goddard from 6 to 8. And on the 25th, they'll have Black GTO playing again from 6 to 8. Yeah, and then in Ateca on the 3rd, they'll have the Mighty Steelheads 8 to 10. On the 4th, the Italian Guys 7 p.m. On the 10th, Red Hot Sham at 8. On the 11th, they'll have AMS at 8. On the 17th, Cut It Like the Kings at 8. And then on the 18th, hey, there's going to be a class of 2013, 10th year reunion, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. So that's what's going to be going on down there. Oh, my gosh. If you're not I, in I'm the class, you're going to be crashing the class. <laughs> party, <yeah. laughs> All right. Hey, the Elk Valley Casino has some events. First off at the Betty Green Event Center on the 8th. They're going to be having comedian Barry Neal at 8 o'clock. Then on the 11th, Black GTO will play at 7. And then at their Warriors Bar and Grill on the 3rd and 4th, they're hosting Steve Berg for music at 7.30. On the 10th and 11th, they'll have the Mighty Steelheads. On the 17th and 18th, Mike Powell. And on the 24th and 25th, Jesse Mead. And it looks like all music there for this month starts at 7.30. There we go. Yeah, and P.A. and D. Roy, like we've said, on the 4th, they'll be at Misty Mountain Brewing from 6 to 8. And on the 3rd and 10th, they'll be at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant 6 to 8. All right. And yeah. then... Hey, and then they'll also be at, on the 11th, Coon Tai, 6 to 8. And on the 17th, Checo Brewing Company. That's P.A. and T. Roy. Okay. And go. Danielle Duran Open Mic event is happening every Tuesday at Oxenfree at 8 p.m. And then they're also doing karaoke every Thursday at Checo Brewing from 5 to 7. That's right. All right. And then Tony Landban on the 18th of Kuntai at 6 to 8. That's it. Excuse me. I was... All right. The Mighty Steelheads are playing on the 3rd of November at the Inateca in Crescent City. Music there running from 8 to 10. On the 10th and 11th, again, they'll be at the Elk Valley Casino starting at 7. And on the 18th, they'll be at Porta Pines Brewing at 8 p.m. Yeah, and the Italian guys, forget about it. They're going to be playing on the 4th at Inatech at 7. And on the 25th, they'll be at Kuntai at 6. Mm-hmm. And Ranch Party is playing on the 3rd of November at Checo Brewing Co. from 6 to 8. And on the 17th, they'll be playing at Kuntai also from 6 to 8. And then Mike Powell, you'll catch him on the 3rd at Brookings Elks Lodge, 6 to 8. And then on the 17th and 18th, he'll be at Elk Valley Casino, 7.30. And Cisco and Daltrey are playing on the 8th and the 29th of November at the Checo Activity Center. They got some daytime music there from 11 a.m. to 1.30. Yeah, your mellow afternoon vibes. Yeah, hey, the Black GTO, they'll be playing on the 11th at Elk Valley Casino, 7 to 10. On the 25th, they'll be at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant, 6 to 8. And then on the 26th, hey, they'll be at the Red Lion Bar in Eureka from 8 to 11. All right, spreading out there. Yeah, if you want to follow them out there, here you go. And we have a personal schedule of music here for Lon Goddard playing on the 2nd at the House of Jambalaya from 6 to 8. On the 4th and 10th, he'll be at Kuntai again from 6 to 8. And then on the 16th, he's back at Kuntai 6 to 8. And then on the 18th and the 24th, he'll be at Misty Mountain Brewing. On the 11th, he's playing at the Semi-Aquatic Gallery from 3 to 6. Looks like an art walk event there. And on the 17th, he'll be at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant. Music they're running from 6 to 8. Yeah, hey, and we got one more to add on here. This is what I was talking about. If you want to get your stuff on the air, you got to get a hold of me. Mm, <laughs> so yeah. you can send an email to captaincurry 541 at gmail.com. Or you can text me at 541-251-4422, just like Jeevan did. On the 2nd, he'll be playing at Kuntai from 6 to 8. On the 4th, he'll be at Tutuga Mexican Restaurant 6 to 8. And then on the 11th, he'll be at the Gold Beach Wellness Center doing Curtain, which is singing healing mantras in Sanskrit and English from 4 to 6. So I don't know what kind of music he's played yet. He just hit me up on text and gave me a schedule and... I'm not too sure what that Kirtan thing is either, but it sounds pretty neat in Sanskrit and English. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, oh. So a new person in town playing some music. So there we go. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So the St. George Reef Lighthouse Preservation Society is doing helicopter tours this month. Cool. That's going to be on the 4th and 5th of November. You do need to make a reservation and to reserve a spot and get more info. You can call 707-273-1905. Or you can call 
254-3851. Pretty cool. Going out there to the lighthouse, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, the Wild Rivers Mushroom Festival is going to be happening here this weekend on the 4th and the 5th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. both days. The Wild Rivers Mushroom Festival has become one of the best mushroom events in the Pacific Northwest. So that means expanding to two venues this year. The main festival hall housing a huge mushroom display, the ID table, the mushroom vendors, and the food and drink will once again be at Salmon Run Golf and Event Center, which is located at 99040 South Bank, Chetco River Road. Then the lectures and workshops are moving into town to the Chetco Grange Community Center. That's at 97895 Shopping Center Avenue in Harbor. So once again, the Pacific Coast Trolley will be on hand to help ferry folks to and from the main festival at Salmon Run and the lecture hall at the Chetco Grange. It's an easy 10-minute drive between venues. The festival runs from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. both Saturday, November 4th, and Sunday, November 5th. The general admission will be $5 for adults with kids 12 and under free to attend, and that price covers one or both days. The cost of a lecture or workshop is $20, which includes the $5 general admission. Hikes will once again be $10, which also includes the $5 general admission. Tickets for the lectures, workshops, and identification hikes will go on sale Tuesday, September 5th, the day after Labor Day at www.wildriversmushroomfestival.com. For info, you can call 541-661-1385. So those are, they're available. They have been available. So there you go. Should be a good time. Yeah, there you go. And hey, now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Hey, you know what? Here are a few quotes from actress Goldie Hawn. She was born on November 21st, 1945. She says, I have witnessed the softening of the hardest of hearts by a simple smile says the ability to remain calm and focused in stressful situations is central to making positive decisions. She said, one way to feel good about yourself is to love yourself and to take care of yourself. And then last but not least, why not just live in the moment, especially if it has a good beat? Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Goldie Hawn with Cousin Bruce. Till next week. Have a great one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Very upbeat. She's there you pretty go. cool. Yeah, yeah. get Let, that beat. Yeah, nice. Mm-hmm. Hey, the Hmong New Year 2023-2024 is happening at the Crescent Elk Middle School. That's at 994 G Street in Crescent City. This is going to be on the 4th of November from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's a big event. You can celebrate with food, cultural activities, and volleyball. For more <laughs> information, you can give Lou Vong a call. It's 559 559- Six nine one eight zero nine three, and for volleyball registration, you can contact Steve Vong at seven zero seven two one eight zero zero nine seven. Yeah, there you go. Hey, and Music in the Redwoods presents the Carrion Wind Quintet. This will be at the Crescent Elk Auditorium, located at nine nine four G Street in Crescent City. This will be on the eighth at seven p.m. This concert is free, but donations are accepted. They always that's always a Thing. All right. Yeah. And for Castle Books, located at 553 Checo Avenue in Brookings, is presenting a poetry reading, this time featuring Gary Lark. This is going to be on the 9th of November at 530. Gary Lark is the author of six books and four chap books. His most recent collections are Easter Creek, Main Street Rag, Daybreak on the Water, Flowstone Press, and Ordinary Gravity, uh, Airly Press. His work has appeared in over a hundred journals, including the Beloit Poetry Journal, Rattle, and Sky Island. For more information, you can contact Michael Spreen. That's at 541-450-1115. Very interesting people with interesting backgrounds in this town. You know, I just dig it. I love when they come out and do something like that and you go, wow. I feel so like lame and normal. I'm like, I grow up here. (laughs) It's it's, It's humbling. I know, right? A 53rd annual Brookings Harbor Community Bazaar. Ah, yeah, this is going on at Azalea Middle School Gym and the Brookings Harbor High School Cafeteria, corner of Pacific and Pioneer Streets in Brookings. This will be happening on the 11th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. There is no admission charge. 
over 95 vendors with quality handcrafted items. That's mm-hmm. right. And I also learned recently that this raises some funds for scholarships for local yes, students yes, too. So yeah. like even better reason to go check it out for some Christmas shopping or holiday shopping or just shopping in general just because it's for it a good cause us. as well. Good yeah. cause. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. The Brookings Harbor Garden Club is presenting Grafting with John Savage. This is going to be on the 16th of November at 11 a.m. The doors for this will open at 1045, so you can get there a bit early. It's happening at the Checo Community Public Library at 405 Alder Street in Brookings. And in 1991, John Savage contacted UCSC Santa Cruz Agriculture Department to inquire about fruit tree grafting and was directed to an organization called California Rare Fruit Growers Association. He's been a member of that organization ever since. John learned how to graft the following year and has grafted several hundred fruit trees. He will be discussing the different methods of grafting, information related to grafting, grafting tools and materials, preparing for the grafting day, as well as demonstrating a couple of grafting techniques. Admission for this event is 100% free. And hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. G'day, cat. G'day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know? There once was an African tribe that required that the men of the tribe must marry an older woman. It's true. And here's the story. Back in the 1200s, there was an African tribe located around the border of Togo in which they had a population of over 50,000 people. They were popularly known for their cultural beliefs and practices, but the most popular one was the aspect of marriage. Men were supposed to marry women that were old enough to be their mothers. And it was general belief that if a man married a woman that was younger within him, both of them would die mysteriously. Incest was a general practice as mothers marrying their own sons was very common. When men went into war and died, their sons would marry their mothers as a custom. Well, people say that the tribe had gone extinct, but historians are still trying to locate them. Well, all the bushwhacker can say this this is actual fact. It's no wonder they went extinct. And, you know... I didn't know there were cougars in Africa. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's bit of weird history with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Until next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Ever hear of that, Kenneth? Yes, yeah. actually, um, there's a lot of research and a lot of information about matriarchal tribes in parts of Africa. Yeah, and, okay. And, yeah, this is one they just discovered, but they mm-hmm. just can't find them. And I'm like, well, that would go extinct if you kept going on that practice all the way. Yeah, yeah. I but guess yeah. That's a possibility. <laughs> mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. yeah, trip. Yeah. Interesting, though. Exceedingly so. All right. Hey, CPR, AED, and first aid training is happening at the Del Norte Child Care Council. That's at 212 K Street in Crescent City. This is a special event happening on the 18th of November from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Of course, there will be breaks in between. This course will prepare you to recognize and take care of a variety of first aid, breathing, and cardiac emergencies involving adults, children, and infants. The cost for this is $65 per person. And for more information about the course, you can contact Angela. That's at 707-464-8311, extension 224. Yeah. Hey, and then Checo Activity Center, located at 550 Checo Lane in Brookings, is having a rummage sale. It's going to be happening on November 18th, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's holiday themed, of course. Baked goods, candies, holiday decorations, arts and crafts. Hobbyist items, plus a whole lot more. So there you go, going on the 18th. All right, getting ready for the holidays. Yes, everything's coming through. Mm -hmm. And hey, the Brookings Elks Lodge, BPOE number 1934, is presenting a gala by the sea night at the Elks. This is happening on the 18th of November from 5 to 10 p.m. The Brookings Elks Lodge is thrilled to announce their upcoming November gala by the sea night, a night of elegance and philanthropy. Treat yourself to a delectable evening with your choice of prime rib or chicken cordon bleu, lovingly prepared by their skilled catering team. And there is going to be vegetarian options available. You can dance the night away to the beats of their live DJ, ensuring a lively and enjoyable atmosphere for all. And refreshments are available at the No Host Bar, offering a selection of your favorite drinks throughout the night. 
You can discover unique treasures and incredible experiences at their silent auction, where your bids will directly contribute to their noble cause. Tickets are available for purchase at their resource office that's located at 539 Hemlock Street. You can also conveniently purchase tickets on their website at brookingsharborfoodbank.org. Simply mention gala tickets in the memo and they'll be happy to mail them to you or have them ready for pickup at their office. Ticket prices, the single ticket is $75, a couple's ticket is $125, and there are business tables available. They're $375 for six people. And all proceeds from this event will be directed towards the acquisition of a larger food warehouse and resource center. All right, so the Brookings Elks Lodge is the location for that, but it is directly benefiting the Brookings Harbor Food Bank. Good to know. All yeah, right. Very mm-hmm. cool, huh? Awesome. Yeah, more stuff. Go- well, like you said, tis the season, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, it's really good. To see and I love stuff a good going. gala. <laughs> What's that? I said, I want to break out my ball gowns. I love a good gala. Oh, yeah. No kidding, <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. Where's my tax? Mm-hmm. All right. So we got a Seroptimus International of Crescent City is having the annual Holiday Artisan Fair. This is at the Crescent City Cultural Center located at 1001 Front Street. This is happening on the 19th, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. They'll have artisans, vendors, cookies, seize candy, and a soup table. Admission is free. Mm. That's about all I got on it. All yeah, right, so, there yeah. you go. Sounds fun. Yeah. And the Checo Activity Center, they're located at 550 Checo Lane in Brookings. They're having their Thanksgiving lunch fundraiser. This is going to be on the 23rd of November from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's $25 for lunch. They say bring your own B, I assume that's uh, beverages. Beverage, yeah. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, being Pro- your own beverage, being yeah. your own beverage. Proceeds from this dinner will directly benefit the programs of the Checo Activity Center, such as their Meals on Wheels program. For information about the fundraiser, you can call 541-469-6822. Yeah, that's one of us older folks' old things back in the day, the BYOB. That was everybody uh, knew I, what that We know what that means. It's <laughs> yeah. fun. We'll call it beverage. Yeah. We'll call it beverage. Yeah, that's very cool. Very <laughs> cool. Yeah, man, I mean, just so much. And here we go. Nature's Coastal Holiday at Brookings Harbor Chamber of Commerce is presenting the Festival of Lights opening night. At Azalea Park, this ribbon cutting will be with Santa Claus on 11 24, November 24th, 5 p.m. All yep. Right. And, so and the then fun. that's kicking that off. And then yeah. the Nature's Coastal Holiday Festival of Lights is running from the 24th through the 27th of December this year. It runs every night from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. There's sweets, treats, and entertainment, hundreds of light sculptures. Adults are $3 for admission. Kids under 12 years old get in for free. And there are Santa visits every Friday and Saturday from 6 to 8 p.m. Sweet. Yeah. Hey, and Lucky Seven Casino is presenting Livin' Lovin' Lead, a Led Zeppelin tribute band. Ah, sounds good. November 25th, 8 p.m. Livin' Lovin' Lead, the Led Zeppelin tribute. Get ready to rock out to the legendary sounds of Led Zeppelin. This in-person event will transport you back to the golden age of rock and roll. From Stairway to Heaven to Kashmir, get ready to experience the magic of Led Zeppelin like never before. That's kind of close as Kim. You know, that's pretty good. Good tribute, man. Mm-hmm. Tickets are at uh, eventbrite.com. Doors open at 7 p.m. and the show starts at 8. You must be, of course, 21 years or older to attend this event. It's at a casino for Grand Island. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And still running PSA here for Meals on Wheels. They're looking for volunteers and they're in need of volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to people that can't get to the Checo Activity Center for the daily meals that are served there. They have a Harbor Route and a Brookings Route. This is a good opportunity for anyone out there who wants to give back to their community and be a friendly face and deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to local homebound residents. Whether you're interested in doing this for just a day, a week, or a month, all volunteers are welcome. And if you want to sign up for that or if you have questions, you can contact Debbie at 714-423-9797. Yeah, always a cool thing to do that. And the Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America are scouting for new troop members. The boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 is one of the Oregon's oldest scout troops with a long history in the community. Troop 4032 is Brookings' first female scout troop, founded in 2019, following the transition from the Boy Scouts of America to Scouts BSA. Uh, allowing girls to join and participate in scouting for the first time in history. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are now accepting new scouts as well as adults interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from 5th grade to age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they're over 21 years old, able to pass a background check, and willing to spend an hour and a half completing the youth protection training course. 
They meet at Scout Hall 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night, except on holidays. You can meet the troops and learn more about what the Scouts can help you achieve. Scout Hall is located at 414th Zelia Park Road. Troop 32 Scoutmasters Mark Haglin. You can reach him at 541-661-2749. And Troop 4032 Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson. You can reach her at 707-951-3636. Four, seven. All right. And there is a regular game night happening at the Whimsical Griffin. They're located at 615 Checo Avenue. That's near the Redwood Theater. Every Tuesday and Friday from 5 to 9 p.m., you can meet up for Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and a variety of board games. I'll tell you what, I went in and talked to Vincent the other day, and he's making this werewolf outfit for the haunted house. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I mean, it looks awesome. Mm-hmm. And, and if. I told him, I looked at it and I looked at the fur and everything and I go, you know, and the size of the feet and everything that it is. And I was like, you make another head next year and you can use this at the Bigfoot Blues Fest. You could come around and <laughs> terrorize some people with this. No it kidding. is so realistic. Have you seen it? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I've seen oh, some oh, of his work. It's man, very it's detailed. awesome. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. really great. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I think he's going to do it at the Haunted House tonight and tomorrow night, but tomorrow <laughs> night for sure. I think, I don't know Alas, what he's supposed to wear. this will already have aired by the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I, I meant, uh, okay, yeah, we're, we, we tape on Monday, everybody, yeah. just to make that right. But yeah, you know what I mean? He's supposed yeah. to wear it to Halloween things. Oh, oh y'all out there catch it. Somebody out there caught it or whatever, because, mm-hmm. yeah, that'll be, <laughs> it looks really cool, and especially with the mask on that he did and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, he does good work. Very skilled. Yeah, yes. yep, yep. Mm-hmm. I got one more in here, and then we'll get going here. with Foggin Fine Art Gallery located at, in Wright's Custom Framing and Art Supply at 810 Checo Avenue in Brookings. The gallery features 36 local artists in a variety of mediums and a classroom to inspire new and seasoned artists with workshops. Stop by and enjoy all this new in the gallery, open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday. For more information on class offerings, painting demonstrations, and artists, call 541 469 7900 or visit them at Facebook at Wright's Custom Framing. And quickly, before we get going here, I just want to say, what is a chap book? It's just a short book of poetry. Is that what it is? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's poetry, though, short book mm-hmm. of poetry. Okay. I know. Cool. Well, and then my librarian brain automatically wanted to autocorrect to chapter books, like for but, like beginning readers and stuff. And I was like, that's not what that is. <laughs> chap book, though. Yeah. Huh? It's yeah. A okay, different. cool. Yeah. I got you. See, I was going to ask you earlier and I forgot. I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, there we go. Just uh, some clarification there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, chap books. All right. Well, it's time to get out of here. We got the flam fickle finger of fate from our f- producer here. So, hey, before we go, we want to. Please support local businesses. Always remember to shop local. I know you people are good and you do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning into this week's Insider Report. Please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, at kciw.org. And while you're there, hey, check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off. Keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll we'll see see you out there. there. Bam! Bam! Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.